What's up winners? On this channel we learn to see through manipulation and have fun doing it. People Magazine did Meghan and Harry's top Nigeria photos and they are hysterical. We start right off with Meghan in this conservative country dressing like a lady of the night, posing for the children from the side, of course, being as revealing as possible. Next, we have the performer. Now, this just gives me a weird vibe, like two, I guess they're pretending to be royals, but it's like when the royals were bad, like entertain us, jester. Seems kind of disrespectful just the way it is to me. Of course, Megan first. Uh, posing for the camera. You're going to notice in all or 99%, probably all of these photos, Megan positions herself in the middle and it is so often, all the time, it cannot be a coincidence. So we have to realize Megan is always aware of the camera. Look at Harry. He's in his place behind Megan as he's been trained to do. Next, we've got Megan. Her face looks like a fairly frozen smile in this instance. Her eyes look tense. There are a few real smiles in here, but this one I don't think it is. It could be though. Clapping. You know what? I'm torn on this one. What do you guys think about it? Is she clapping for real or what? Next, of course, Megan taking a selfie with the children. What a coincidence that they happen to be facing this camera. And if you notice, this is important. Look at the girl next to her's eyes. They look to be looking at the phone. Look at the girl next to her with the glasses. She's totally facing the phone. Megan, it looks like she's looking right at me. I believe she might be somewhat looking at the phone, but she perfectly lined it up to be in the center so there'd be a picture of her taking a selfie with the kids for a PR. I would bet anything that is the case. It's too coincidental and we know how Megan is. Oh, this is the girl with the gift that uh, we have a little video of where Megan turns her back on her. The girl's just standing there like, what's going on? So this is a little pre thing. Also, keep in mind, uh, Harry looks serious here and Harry does at least know how to handle people. And most of them look serious while Megan's smiling. So what I'm thinking is they might be discussing something serious that takes empathy. But Megan's just like, let me do my frozen smile. She doesn't actually get into the conversation as it pertains to other people and the topic. Again, once again, Megan is showing off her back, her shoulder, and a little bit of chest. That is exactly the thing. I'm starting to have a theory. There was a, I believe it was the Jubilee, where Megan walks with a huge smile. Like she got off on the power of like, I just criticized all of you and here I am. Didn't feel awkward at all. And she wore the opposite of the color she was supposed to. I noticed Megan is dressed far more promiscuously than usual, though she does dress that way. I think she gets off on sticking it to people like, I'm doing different. You can't do anything about it. And that's pretty consistent with her character. Again, her sister wrote the book about it. Samantha Markle. All right, this is another one with Megan looking at the girl. So at least she did eventually talk to her, but she does turn her back on her. It's quite awkward. And we're going to get to the best one a little bit. This handshake, I guess it's fine. Looks a little weird to me. Like she's like not fully holding it. Like maybe she doesn't actually want to touch people. She just wants the picture. This one. Is this when Harry was telling the gentleman who just lost his leg to name his prosthetic? Very awkward. Very awkward. I hope we'll have a video with that soon. If there is, I'll probably link it in here. This one, I don't know what to make of it. This one, I would love you guys' take. Um, we'll call this the grimace smirk. So we know what we're talking about. Is she about to smile? Or is she grimacing? I don't know. It's not a good look. Whoever posted this photo didn't do a great job because it's for her PR. I'm going to give credit where credit's due. This is Harry playing seated volleyball. I criticized him when he was in Canada and he was in the sled and like all the veterans were standing around the actual experts. It became all about Harry. This one, again, I could see like getting some attention, but... Um, I think playing with them as a group, that I don't think is that bad of a move. I think that's kind of cool. Um, you know, again, mostly he's a PR guy, so I don't know where he came from, but I could see if it was me like playing as a group, not doing the thing where everyone's watching, but 
playing with the actual guys, trying their sport out. That's the kind of thing that seems not so bad to me. And we're going to get soon to the best one. Uh, this is just them standing around awkwardly. Look at this woman here. She's not not look happy about Megan. Oh, uh, Megan front and center again, intentional. Megan in the center, but not really interacting with the girl. So I think it's more pure. Notice Harry's actually interacting with the girl. I give him credit, but he has to reach way over because Megan has to be where the camera is. And Megan, this is her day two outfit. Of course, there's a peephole. Her entire leg is showing, uh, sticking it to the people who are hosting her and giving them all these security. And finally, look at this poor girl. Look, at, it is hysterical. I literally, what's the story of this photo? There's a little girl, Megan runs over like, get the picture, get the picture. Here, put a flower in your hand. Like, no, no, no get the picture. And the girl's terrified. Literally, I think she just grabs the kids. And she does it especially to African kids. It's, again, have you seen Get Him to the Greek where they had African Child, the song? I swear, Megan's like that in real life. She's like, grabs the kids, take the pictures, take the pictures. Anyways, thanks, winners. I'll see you soon.